What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. So fresh off of that disappointing loss to the Seahawks, we're uh, taking on the New England Patriots here. So we're looking to rebound. So Young Air 13, Mark Jackson's on the excellent. Yeah, Mark Jackson had a heck of a He's having a good season, 21 for 872. Vance Johnson has tailed off. Clarence K is on bad, 44, so I might put He's on good, so what's Sewell on? Ooh, Steve Sewell's on excellent. Yeah, let's leave him in there. He's got 63 receptions. Bratton is still good. What's Winder on bad? Yeah, we're Bratton. Melvin Bratton's been our main back this year. He's kind of stayed in the best shape. You know, started out with him blocking for Winder, but Winder just got hurt, and then he's just kind of been on bad most of the time. But Bratton's been stayed on good, so as long as he's on good, then he's gonna he's gonna get the nod there. Well, actually, maybe I should have Steve Sewell the tailback since he's 38 speed. Yeah, well, let's do that. Steve Sewell will be the runner since he's got a little bit better speed, and then the Bratton is blocking for him. All right, let's do, let's go with that. Running back by committee, right? So we're taking on these New England Patriots, sec the rematch. So let's hit the field. Let's get to it. Welcome to Mile High Stadium in the broadcast booth. Broncos hosting the Patriots. New England wins the toss and elects to receive. David Treadwell gets us underway. Dennis Smith with an interception of Mark Wilson. Great way. First play of the game. Nice. Sweet. Here's LA play action. He's throwing for Mark Jackson. He's got it. <laughs> Our first play goes for a touchdown. Sweet. You can't get much better than that, right? <laughs> first play of the game for them. We, they, th they throw an interception. Ah, come on! Extra point is blocked. But still. So in two plays, we had an interception, then a touchdown for the Broncos. That's pretty sweet. I love it. All right, back to work, guys. And Treadwell's got two extra points blocked now so far this year. Stevens. He's got the first down. Another pitch out to Stevens. Marv Cook. Has a catch. He's got a first down. Marvin Allen. Not too much air. Three yards. Pitch out Jay Stevens at the top. He's got the first down and more. Fumbles the ball, but it's out of bounds. Set back to pass. He's got all day. Put, 
Stevens up the middle, no gain. Third and goal from the four. Beat down. Put, 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 put. Wilson back to pass. He could have ran it. He could have ran it in himself, but he, he tried to throw it to Dykes and he incomplete. Jason Strowski, the kick is up. And it's good. Six to three to score. Wow, that was, that was huge. That could have been a touchdown. Wilson just had to run it. I guess he, he tried to pass it. It was a no go. Jason Strosky, look at this. He's got the leg for it. He might have it. He nailed it. Tied the game. Wow. One minute to go in the half. Complete to Mark Jackson. 36 seconds left. Always throwing for Vance Johnson. Incomplete. Well, I think we're going to give our own kicker, David Trella, Treadwell, a chance. See if he can knock a long one through. Kick 
is up. He got it! Yes! Give the Broncos a lead. Kickers are making some great big kicks today. Nine to six is our halftime score. They played us tough the first game, if you remember. We actually only beat them by one point. It was 17 to 16. And we led at the half. It was like 10 to 9. So, yeah, the Patriots, they play us tough. <laughs> Similar, similar type game. Michael Young with another catch. He's got a first down. Steve Sewell, he's got good yardage. How about that, maybe? He's got a touchdown. <laughs> good run, man. I think that was a good run and also a good play call because I, I think they was expecting to pass all the way. Stride. Even though that was against us, it's like you gotta. Yeah, that that was a that was a good play, guys. I'll I'll, I'll give you a good play. Some throws. He's got Irving Fryer. He was wide open. Patriots ain't going away quietly. Back to a three point game. Intercepted by Ronnie LaPetch. And the Patriots are fighting back here, right? They're giving us a game, They're giving us a tough game here. Wilson fires, Irving Fryer has it. He's all alone. Can the defense. They got him down to 18. Ooh, Irving Fryer hurt on the play. Wilson. 
pulls him back to pass. He throws for Dykes, but it sails on him out of bounds. Third and 16. Going for McMurdy. It's intercepted in the end zone. Nice. That was nice. Nice save on the defense here, huh? Now, can Denver's def offense get something going here? Get some more points on the board, guys. Throw it, throw it. You're too late. Jeez. Ray Agnew, third and 26. That way he's in his own end zone. He runs and it's a... Hey, he, he runs into a sack. There was no reason to... Uh, well, punt out again. Punt out of our own end zone here. Not a very good punt. Patriots in good position here. Another another entry on the field. Rosie Tatapu is brought in for that. <laughs> All right, pressure's on the Denver defense here to stop the Patriots. are close. He's John Stevens gets it in there for him. And the Patriots take the lead late in the fourth quarter. Seventy yards. We need to, to go in a minute forty seconds. Second running back don't go out in a pattern on that one. Ooh, Sue is on excellent. Okay. Teal on bad. All right, we leave young in there. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Nice, he's got Steve Sewell down the seam. Nice play, man. Come on, John. seconds left here. Need a touchdown, guys. Yes! Vince Johnson, baby! 
<laughs> With 16 seconds left to go in the game. Oh yeah. That one gets you that one gets you pumped up. That gets the blood flowing. Ooh, one second left. Gotta be playing pass coverage, right? Yes! The pass sails out of bounds. Victory, baby! It looked bad. <laughs> Hey, all you can do is, you know, whatever you did up until that point, it's like you gotta put it behind you. We, you just, all you can say is we have a chance right now, right? We have a chance, so let's go out and make the most of it. And they did, yeah. Awesome, awesome uh, pass down the seam to Steve Sewell on that last drive there, and, the, and finished it off with uh, a strike to Vance Johnson. It was. Was sitting right in the end zone. Yes. Uh, yeah, that was that wasn't looking good. It was like, oh man, we're we kind of struggled that game. And but hey, I remember uh, watching a video on uh, about LA years ago, and it was uh, you know talked about you know um, you know great players don't always play their best you know all the time but they but they play their but a lot of times they play their best when it matters most right so it's like that was kind of Elway's thing it's like he didn't always have the great stats but you know sometimes uh, winning the game would be you know uh, from a big play or you know or you know he made the plays at the end and uh, pull, you know, got him out of a bad situation and won the game for him a lot of times. You know, it's like yeah. So, so that was kind of a yeah, reminiscent of those days. That's what this game was, basically, uh, like those days, right? So, all right, let's finish out the week here. I don't, I'm just I'm trying, I'm struggling for words right now, but I'm just kind of excited about that game. Just took me back to those those days, those those glory days, right? Miami Dolphins win the division. They're, they're the first team to win the division this year. Usually San Francisco is the first team to pop up. So, hey, kudos to Miami, right? I think, if I just seen that right, I think, Seattle, I think the Seahawks beat the Chiefs. We'll, we'll, we'll find out here. Let's check out the standings now. Look at that, Miami, 12 and 1. Wow, I, I don't know. That might be the best I've seen them start out, like with the with the, just the computer controlling them, right? So Miami division champs at 12 and 1. There, Jets are 8 and 5. Colts 5 and 8. Bills 4 and 9. Patriots are now 1 and 12. AFC Central, we got the Bengals there at 9 and 4. They got a two-game lead over the 7 and 6 Steelers. Oilers are six and seven. Browns are four and nine. And the West, okay, yes, we, uh, yeah, Seattle, they beat the Chiefs, huh? So, so now we, so we got Denver there, ten and three. Chiefs nine and four. Seahawks eight and five. Well, look at that. It's like eight, nine, or yeah, ten, nine, eight. It's like a kind of like a countdown. Chargers are six and seven. Raiders are three and ten. But still, I we can't relax because again, if we would lose and the Chiefs would win, we'd have the same record, <clears throat> and then it's going by points calculation. So, you know, you never want to be in that situation where you're going by points. You know, depending on the points. NFC East: Eagles are eight and five, Cowboys and Cardinals seven and six. Giants and Redskins six and seven, so that division's kind of like been a fluid situation going on. 
All right, Central, we got the Bears at 9 and 4, Vikings 7 and 6, Packers and Lions 6 and 7, the Bucks 2 and 11. Ah. Oh, wow. 49ers 10 and 3, Falcons 9 and 4. So the Falcon 49ers and the Falcons are the same as the Chiefs and the Broncos here, 10 and 3 and 9 and 4. Rams are 5 and 8 and Saints are 2 and 11. Who we got next? Fifth week fifteen. Let's see, the, looks okay. The Chiefs are playing the Chargers. I've seen that one, and oh, there we go. We're playing the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Cleveland is next, and that is that game is at Cleveland. So we're going to be heading to the dog pound. Okay, guys, well, man, what would you think about that game over the Patriots? It's like, man, we were, pa Patriots played us tough both games. We only beat them by one point that first game, and then just beat them by three the second game. But, yeah, that was, both games, you know, like I said, they played us tough both games, and both games had their moments, you know, of uh, big plays and excitement. But, yeah, awesome drive at the end, game-winning drive. You know, L.A. does another game-winning drive, right? So, love it. But those are my thoughts. Leave me yours in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if this is your first time to the channel, tap subscribe, then the bell, ding, ding, so you're notified when I upload new videos. So, until next time, guys, keep it retro.